Jackie Hibbley versus match here. <laughs> your old mill. There's your little bat. And they look identical. much snow, but kind of a cleaner snow. A little bat. Yeah, on the right side here. Still. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> kind of a earthy, bready kind of back to it, eh? sweeter. A little more maybe piney hop. Yeah. Almost dare I say citrusy. A little crisper too. They're both in this fridge, same amount of time and all that. Yeah. This is crisp and uh, aggressive kind of more of a bite to it. Colors are changing, depending on the light. Not by a whole lot. That's more golden. This is easier drinking. Uh. Like I say, a little more about bready. more of an easier drinking carbonation, it's a little smoother, a little flatter in the flavor profile. Oh. And the Labasse is sharp, and bubbles just will jump right up your nose. But it's kind of watery in, in a way. It's kind of strange. This one. Hmm. It's kind of got that gross kind of multi layeredness to it. Huh. Well, the head on the Labatt's completely gone. Little Mill's got a little bit of foam. Uh, yeah. Strange. They're, uh, if you look at them, you think they'd be exactly the same. Hmm. 
Well, aftertaste is a little grosser with the old Milwaukee. That's a really clean beer, but maybe it has a little too much carbonation. Maybe not too much. It's got that kind of aggressive bite like Coca-Cola. It's harder to drink. Like you can't, you can't. It's not as easy drinking of a beer. It is easy drinking, but there's a lot of carbonation you're fighting with. Uh, alcohol should be the same in both of them, I believe. It. I imagine they're both fine. Yeah. <clears throat> A little more hops kind of up front, and some sweetness in the back. Clean and crisp. A little bit of tingle to it. This has kind of got a bready kind of middle taste, kind of splatter tasting, and the carbonation of the splatter. The bubbles, to look at them. I'd say there's, a, there's more bubbles in the Labatt. <clears throat> I don't know. For the price, I got like a suitcase of this. I got a 24 for 18 bucks? What the hell was it? I got a big box of this. It was dirty. <laughs> Right? I mean, it was like the, some of the cheapest beer in the whole store. It was as cheap as like the Lucky Lager. It was like the same price, pretty much. This shit cost a fortune. That's the difference. I do like Labatt. Aside from it being watery. There's something I like about Labatt. Especially out of the bottle. I'm not, I don't know what it is. Maybe the, I guess light struck even though it's a brown bottle maybe. Something like that. Um, yeah, side by side, the old mill is just flatter, basically. And not quite as much kick in the flavor. There's something about Labatt that's kind of like a supercharged beer. So you're drinking like that. But you don't kind of maybe to take away from the you noticing that it's watery or whatever. Damn, and it's got a nice sweetness to it, though. Uh, this, this you can do. I, I don't mind picking this up once in a while because you can get a, way worse beers that for way more money. And like the, I heard somewhere that you guys, these guys use a concentrated hop oil in their beer. So the head's retaining a little, a little bit better, but. Uh, I'm not seeing any amazing head off it. The old mill is a little grosser. It's a lot less money. For the price of the little bat, I pick up a Euro lager. For a domestic pale lager though, it's it's pretty good. For but I mean I paid twenty eight bucks for twelve. That's not a good deal. I could get like all kinds of craft beer for that price. I could get all kinds of brown ales and IPAs and porters and shit. For the same, it's cheaper than that. Got way more mom and pop liquor stores. Shame on you, the bat. I said, pay a lot of people to seriously. Uh, this one's holding up pretty strong. I'm going to have to say, I was expecting the old mill. I thought it was going to be. It's been a while since I bought some. I was going to fare a little better. But the price point almost equals it out if you're on a budget. You're, you're going to get twice as much old Milwaukee for your Labatt Blue. Does that matter? It's not that. It's not horrible. It's not. Old mill isn't bad at all. For your cheap beer, this is a really. If you're going to buy cheap beer, you're crazy. At my store, anyway, that I get this at, at my wholesale beer store, this shit is dirt. It comes in a, looks like a gigantic suitcase. And it's like 18 bucks or something. So, uh, or, it might be 24. 
might be a buck of beer or less. I think it's less than a buck of beer. So that's a killer price. The Labatt Blue, I think I could probably find a better deal on it. Well, you can I can't. It's better than Molson Canadian. I don't know. I haven't drank cocaine in years. I'm going to go buy some, and I'm going to review that to you one day here. Hmm. It's holding up really strong. It's really... Um, it's got that... Got that bite? What do you mean the bat's got bite? Johnny? What do you mean the bat's got bite? Nice hops, nice sweetness to it, like it's Damn, it's just perfect sweetness. It really has something to it. I mean that's maybe that's why they're charging so much for it. I know people are gonna Damn, that's a beer you could crave. I and it depends on your mood though. Sometimes you drink a beer and Probably doesn't give it the right way. Uh, I'm really enjoying Labatt Blue tonight. I don't always. The old mill. I don't want to say the only comparison is like. It, it almost comes off stale when you drink it next to the Labatt Blue. The Labatt Blue is so vibrant and so alive. Um, yeah, it's kind of got like a stale kind of back. Oh shit, if you're into partying and you might be any and you want to drink pale lager all night long, I'd probably go for the oatmeal. Myself, I would probably buy the Labat Blue. That's I'd splurge and just Or I'd just go I'd skip both of them and just buy a whole shitload of Pilsner or Cal. So drink some beer that really fucking kicks ass. That's what I do. If I if I was on a Pilsner, I get some five hundred mil cans of Pilsner or Cal. That's what I do, because it's fucking cheaper than the Blue. <laughs> if you buy it by the flat at the wholesale store. So, uh... I'm gonna give both... Well, Old Milwaukee, I'm gonna give it, uh... I'm gonna give it 7 out of 11. And it... Flavor-wise, is not. But for price, we're gonna up it to a 7. It's a 6 in the flavor. Labatt Blue is a 7 in the flavor. Or maybe seven and a half, but we're gonna drop a half a point because it's expensive. So they're both gonna get seven. Seven is out of eleven. And I suggest trying Pilsner or Cal and fucking love these beers. Right up the ass. Skip past them, go straight to the Urkel. The good middle ground. Five hundred mil cans of Euro Lager. Mm -hmm. Good beer. Oh, I might just stop that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll try my new effect.